Good morning, Complete Men. Welcome back to another episode. First, I want to thank you for tuning into our podcast. I truly, truly appreciate it. Our podcast is growing like crazy. We're getting some awesome feedback, um, some really, really great questions as well, and some very good topics for us to cover in this podcast. That's really what drives this because if you can send me information, it gives me a good sense of what the audience needs to hear and what they should hear because chances are that if you're facing something, some kind of challenge or thought, that there's other guys that are facing it as well. That's something that we know very well is that 80% of men face very similar challenges in life. So you are not alone. Today's topic is really around confidence and the importance of confidence. And I don't think that I really need to get into why confidence is important because I think most people understand why it is. It is a central building block. When you have confidence, you feel good. And when you feel good, you actually perform better. That's essentially it. Confidence has been shown by research that it's only about 16% roughly on average um, the reason why someone actually succeeds. So out of all of the factors that lead to someone succeeding, that lead to you succeeding in some aspect of your life, confidence relates to 16% of that. And most people would say, well, you know, that's not a huge percentage. That's actually a very low percentage. It's less than one fifth. But here's the kicker. It is one of the most important percentages, right? So there's quantity, but also quality as well. And confidence is extremely important for you to get the job done effectively. I can't stress this enough. And it's it's not so evident for a lot of people to realize that the people that they come into contact with have confidence or not. Because a lot of people put on the show that they are confident. Um, in fact, this, this is something that most men do. Most men walk around as if they're confident. They got this bravado that they know they're good at something or they're, they're put together um, and they present themselves in a particular way. And in a lot of ways, women do this as well, but men are more, you can say, studious and consistent with this type of behavior. And it's really interesting because it's like a, it's like an egg. Confidence is like an egg, right? It's hard to, like, people can have this strong outer shell, but once you crack it, inside is just like this ooze, right? It's like this yolk that just comes out. And that yolk isn't very confident. And so what you need to do is really build confidence from the inside out. That is the difference between having true confidence and fake confidence, is building confidence from within rather than the outside. As my grandfather used to say, my wife bugs me all the time about this, um, I dress up every so often, right? I play the part when I need to, but I'm more of a casual guy. I'm a farm boy at heart. I like to wear casual clothes, but my wife's actually a very stylish gal. And she's like, yeah, you know, you should wear maybe something a little bit more metro or preppy. And I'm like, I do when I need to, when I go out and I go out to events or I meet clients. But when I'm chilling out at home, I'm just, you know, sweatpants, jeans, t-shirt, hoodie, whatever it is. That's what I'm comfortable in. And, I do that because even when I meet with clients, I don't feel like I need to get dressed up for myself. It's more for them, so I fit in. And some clients, that doesn't work very well. But my grandfather taught me this. He said, it's the man that makes the clothes. It's not the clothes that make the man. That's very important for people to understand. I'm not saying you shouldn't get dressed up. I actually enjoy getting dressed up when I do. But you have to feel that confidence from within. I see a lot of people feel confident from the clothes that they wear rather than the person that they are inside. Or they have confidence based on the money that they make, not necessarily who they are inside. Once you know who you are inside, once you are proud of who you are inside, once you're comfortable and content with who you are inside and love that person that you are inside, you will automatically have more confidence. It's really interesting to see that shift in men 
because there's a lot of guys that we work with that are extremely successful, but they don't have that confidence because maybe something in their life isn't going as well as they thought they, it would go. They're making a ton of money, but maybe their relationship isn't going very well or their health isn't um, where they want it to be. And so they lack confidence from the, within that place because they've become one-sided. But once they start to balance out their life more and they start to get more comfortable with who they are and start to work on those skills and better themselves from the inside out, that confidence just shoots through the roof. It's incredible to see how that works with men. So what's your mind shot for today? Your mind shot is for you to sit down and identify on a scale of one to 10, where you think your confidence is in every aspect of your life. Okay, so not just one aspect because there can't be a blanket confidence unless you are truly confident. That that is the difference. Truly confident men have confidence in every situation, regardless of what it is, because it's coming from the inside. But what I want you to do is identify the the different areas of your life. For example, your relationship. If you have kids, you as a father. If you have a business, if you have a uh, a career, your wealth, for example, your health, identify all of the areas that are very important to you in your life and your level of confidence on a scale of one to 10 for each of those areas. That's going to be very, very important because it's going to identify some very key things there. In some areas of your life, you're going to be very confident in other areas you are not. So that's the first step because that's going to show you where you need to focus more on inside, right? If you're I'm not going to go through every area, but if you are a, let's just say, three or four in confidence when it comes to your relationship, then you need to work on being a better husband, a better partner. And that starts with you. It's not necessarily looking at the other person. It starts with you. So once you start doing that work and you start raising your confidence in that level, watch how it shifts the confidence that you have in other areas. So that is your mind shot. I hope it helps and I wish you the very best. Take care.